Welcome back to Trading 360. I'm Nicole Petalides, live on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Glad you're with us. We have some buys and sells, some ideas for your portfolio. And bringing that to us, Melissa Armo, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh. It's great to see you, Melissa. Um, we've had a lot of back and forth action after some records, but a lot that we're waiting on as well. How are you feeling about the market overall? Overall, the market's been in a very tight range for the last few weeks, but as your previous guest said, it appears that the market is trying to break out, even though it's failed to do it yet. There's nothing that seems to want to make this market really sell off and have any follow through to the downside. If you look at all the things that have been happening, you, you'd wonder why the market hasn't sold off yet. You know, the port strike was one of them, the war escalating overseas that we're involved with. I think the market's going to break out higher. A lot of this will depend on earnings next week. We have some Friday and then really the next month running up to the election. So we could have a breakout. It may not last because of the election coming up in a few weeks. So we may have a lot of volatility with that. And if we have some big movers that move the market that are to the downside, that will affect the market too. But right now, between now and just let's say the end of the week, it looks like the market is set to finally rally. Yeah, I'll bring up Tesla right away because that's front and center. We have the robo taxi event coming up on the 10th, followed by the earnings on the 23rd. Um, what are your thoughts on Tesla today? And uh, this is one of the names that you believe people should short. Well, I'm just looking at short term again. I don't know what the earnings say, which are, like you said, in two weeks. But right now, the stock is having a very difficult time. It looks lower even today. Right now, as we're speaking, the market is rallying, the market is green, the market's set to break out, and where is Tesla? It's basically right at where it opened and trying to go red. So we had a sell-off in Tesla yesterday. Last week, we had a sell-off in Tesla. For whatever reason, the stock doesn't seem to want to get bought. Again, maybe on the earnings, it'll show something where it wants to go higher. But right now, that stock is struggling more than the market. Again, every time you're looking to take a position in something, you want to get in a stock that if you're going to go long, it's moving ahead of the market, or if you're going to go short, that's moving you know, against the market to the downside, like one of the picks I had was NVIDIA. NVIDIA was starting to break out yesterday while the market wasn't ready to do it yet. And now, of course, today, NVIDIA is even higher and the market's higher too. So right. Tesla is having an issue. You can tell in the price action, which is what I really, really focus on, Tesla yeah. just doesn't look good right now for a buy. So if you don't want to short it, don't short it. But I definitely wouldn't be long Tesla right now, despite right. You know, what's going on in the next couple of days with it. I see. I see. Because, I mean, you're right. It's down this week. It's down two and a half percent. It's down this month for the month of October, down nearly seven percent, but has had an incredible run over six months. It's up about almost 40 percent. So it did shoot up and now sort of bopping around. Today it's up one and a quarter percent. But to your point, um, it's not doing much right now for this month of October. Um, Boeing, another name that you're a little cautious on. Tell me how cautious. But we have Dow earnings again, which is in that sector, which is Thursday. So it's going to be really interesting to see what those earnings turn out to be. Again, the airlines have been struggling the last year. Boeing has had so many issues. So Boeing is out actually in two weeks as well, those earnings too. But that stock will react because it's in the sector um, of Dow that comes out and has earnings Thursday morning. That's one of the first earnings. So that, that is definitely going to be a watch for me because it has been attempting to break through that 150 area, it hasn't been able to do it and have any follow through with it, but I've been watching that. And again, remember, every time you turn on the news, it almost seems like there's another thing, the Boeing strike. We have an, we have another accident, a plane issue. There's that, that stock overall, that company has had just a horrible last couple of years. So that's a big watch in two weeks as well when their earnings come out. Uh, so we'll be watching that as well, but for now, I don't, I don't think anyone should be going long. It looks like people did the last couple of days right. at rallies, but I think it, that is really, really, really one that will, number one, react with Dow on Thursday, no matter what Dow does, but number two, you know, people are not buying into that yet until they see something amazing happen, which, you know, what's going to happen on the earnings? What could possibly, what could they possibly say on the earnings to change the outlook on that stock that's happened in the last nine months? Right. I mean, look, they're still working with the uh, machinist union, the factory workers, 33,000 workers um, um, who want, I think, a pay increase of 40 percent and such. They have not reached a final on that negotiation. In the meantime, the stock's been hovering around 
the new lows of 149 and change. Now let's get, you mentioned NVIDIA as a name that was trying to break out. You have the triple Qs, you have Netflix on there. Tell me about those three, th that sort of theme that you see upside potential. Well, first of all, I love Netflix. Look at the total reversal today that we're having in Netflix from yesterday's sell-off. Yesterday, Netflix sold off 100% reverse that are ready today. Netflix is near the highs. Netflix looks even stronger than the market right now. Netflix is actually probably helping to lift the market today in the QQQs. And that is one of the first earnings. That is next week. So that's a big, big watch. You know, again, that was hovering around the 725 area. That could even make new highs this week before the earnings. So that's a that's a watch. The stock has become very expensive. You know, remember the stock hit over 700 a couple of years ago, then it split. I mean, Netflix could end up splitting again. So who knows what will happen with that? Because if that and actually reacts positive in the earnings, I don't think 800 is even out of out of range for that stock. The way that they can fly, it's very expensive. Things are doing as an option right now and very spready, but it definitely moves and it definitely pays. And I like that better than anything on the list that I sent you because it has held up so strong, even with the small little reaction we had of the selling in the market in the last couple of weeks, Netflix yeah. didn't budge, didn't budge at all. Yeah. Look, I mean, it's at 718, uh, the high was 725. You think it breaks out beyond the high of 725? Yeah, for sure. But I mean, again, with the market, remember, everything lifts when the market lifts. The same thing when everything falls when the market okay. falls. So we had some selling yeah. yesterday with the market sold off. Yeah. I mean, again, it doesn't last. That's the problem. Like shorts want to come in, and I love to short. Shorts want to come in, then you never get the follow through. Then the longs come in, and they want to scoop up and buy the support, and then we're not seeing to get the follow yeah. through. But every time the market tries to yeah. sell off, it just doesn't do it. And sometimes you even see news over the weekend, and you say, oh, my God, we're going to be lower on Monday. And then we're not. And then we're down a little bit in the yeah. gap, and then we rally. I mean, it's just like with some of these things you say, I guess we're just going to continue flying high. And when you look at the numbers and you look at the economic data, sometimes you don't even believe it. You say, well, they're probably going to revise it because they keep doing that anyways. You know, but ultimately when the yeah. Fed lowered yeah. rates, yeah. okay. that was what the market wanted to see. Yeah, understood. And yesterday we did see an upgrade and a downgrade on Netflix. So we saw some, um, you know, different types <laughs> of calls, but I see what you're saying. Thank you so much. Melissa Armo, Stock Swoosh. Great to see you. Thank you. Coming up.